What's up guys, Elf is here, and today we're playing some Han uh, normal mode. Uh, fortunately, it was all random, so I didn't get to pick. Not that it's that, that unfortunate, because I kind of like all random, it sort of makes things interesting. Um, I got Draconis, um, and apparently I'm a crowd favorite, apparently apparently half my team wants Draconis. Um, but I think I'm going to stick with him for the moment. I might consider changing for Torturer, but that's about it. Um, mm, no thank you. Um, I'm not interested in shopping for, for, well, maybe Kinesis? Nah, nah. Kinesis isn't, isn't that fun. I'm gonna stick with, uh, Draconis. Draconis can be very fun, uh, and he can do okay early game, so we'll see. Um, of course, I'm sure I'll play him mediocre, but <laughs> we'll see. I haven't played him in a little while, so he's, he's not one of my go-to carries, although I actually, th there's absolutely nothing wrong with the hero, in my opinion. He's actually great. I just personally, uh, don't play him that much. Let's I play heroes with a bit more mobility usually. Uh, Mage Bane, Matt. Uh, I play a lot of melee carries too, but I also play like Bushwhack and Clanks and a few other ones that um, just. Uh, this is actually a good fit mid. Ouch. Last second. Oh, he stopped. This orange last second. Oh, so blue is Kinesis and orange is Pharaoh. Okay. It's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go bottom. I'm random, so I have a little bit more money here. Doesn't really change much with my early build. I'm still gonna go with the double regen, or the the, the stones and uh, the pot. And then I think what I'll do is, um, I'm thinking I might go a completed soul scream ring just because I have a bunch of leftover money. I might also save and go for an early thunderclaw. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do a, a sort of a normal build. Maybe I'll go like uh, pretender crown duck boots. I'm actually going to skip the totem. I'll save 300, so that'll give me some really... I'm sure he got hatchet shield, didn't he? But no items, because he's going for a quick... Okay, all right, a quick life tube. Um, can I just talk about this for a sec? So, I'm going to turn the volume down on my end. Sorry, guys. It won't affect your end, just on mine. Um, I'm just going to talk about this for a second. I, I've said it in the past, I don't think it makes any sense to go nothing and then try and get an early tube. An early tube doesn't really help you so much that it makes sense to buy absolutely nothing early on. I... Okay. Even getting a level one tube is helpful, don't get me wrong, it is really helpful, but I'm gonna uh, mute him. I think it makes a lot more sense to get a reasonable, you know, you can save a little and still get an early tube. I'm not saying don't get an early tube, I'm just saying I don't think it makes enough sense to get zero and try and get a tube in the first 30 seconds of the game. I just think it's weird. Um, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. You have no regen then, you have no stats, you're still behind on stats, and uh, with Pharaoh in particular, you won't have any mana pots, which are kind of useful on that hero. Um, although we'll see. Um, how does auto level say? Level your uh, dragon flame first. Okay. Um, I'm not sure I always... I, I, I'm fine with maxing that first, but sometimes I like to get uh, Fiery Barrage or Blazing Flight first, depending on who I'm up against. I think I'll go with the auto level just because at the moment, because, uh, you know, I'm not an expert Draconis player. I don't know how to play it fantastically. I know how to play him okay. Um, but you can get um, your Dragon Flight early on, too. You only really want the Q um, because of the knockback and whatnot. It's useful against enemies. PP, PP. Oh, and I'm losing some damage there. I'm going to attack him a bit um, as best I can to try and... Uh, We'll see, and he's gonna, yeah, sure, he's gonna fight me for last hits this whole round, isn't he? Um, <laughs> that's great. He doesn't have a hatchet, so it shouldn't be impossible to outlast hit him, but with them too, it's gonna be annoying, I can tell you that at least. Did that dude do the same? No, he actually went shield hatchet. Uh, I'm gonna try and poke away at him. Um, just gonna harass him, harass him, harass him, since he doesn't have a great support there to defend him. Uh, his support is sort of mediocre. He has a flux, he has a flux, right? he has a flux chilling here, um, which is sort of... Not the worst starting support, not the worst support because of his push and whatnot, it's just not the best. So, it's sort of, you know, so-so. Um, and to go shield hatchet with it, fine, fine, we can pause. It doesn't matter. It so does not matter. This is a 1500 game with all random. Pause. The dude's probably not going to come back anyways, though. He's already got items. What are we pausing for? He bought items. He bought a flying courier. Why are we pausing? He's here. I'm unpausing this game. He's here, so forget that. Um people in this game um so that was frustrating i guess <laughs> i'm also gonna poke at uh flux although flux i'm gonna poke at less i'd rather get uh lodestone lower so he doesn't want to come in he bought his uh early tube like that which is great um yeah this is gonna be an annoying thing to get last hits i'm sure thankfully i can jungle with relative ease um early on because of dragon flight uh dragon blaze or blazing flight sorry Third time's a charm, you guys know how it is. Um, oh, he messed up my last hit. It, like, pulled me and canceled my animation, which is unfortunate. Um, I didn't know it did that. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. 
I have a longer attack range than him, but uh, he does have that annoying, annoying thing. Uh, do I want a potion? No, I'll use my regen. I'll use the regen. Um, I am going to go for a level, uh, or, or an early, early, early pair of boots, but then after that, I think I'm going to rush, uh, I think I'm going to rush a... Uh, charge, not charge hammer, uh, thunderclaw at the very least, because it'll help me farm. I was sort of considering getting a nullstone first item, but I don't think it makes a boatload of sense. It's not. She just got a level. She just got a kill when she was under leveled and under farm. That's interesting. Okay. Um, I should call missing here in a sec. We're gonna do that in just a okay. second. Um, no, we're well. Yeah, let's call missing here. What am I doing? Here, missing. Um, oh, never mind. He's back. So let's just let everybody know that he's back. That was not a- oh, it actually hit me, but it wasn't- wow! I'm surprised that hit me, to be honest with you. It looked like I wasn't in the range of that- uh, but fine, what do I know? Uh, okay, so I died early on. Um, that's what you gotta be careful for. They do a fair amount of damage, specifically Lodestone. He's kind of an interesting hero, because he does damage to himself, but he also does damage to others. Um, so it's sort of interesting, but it's sort of a double-edged sword, I guess you could say. So there's that to pop his, uh, mana pot, uh, which is fine. I'm gonna poke, poke, poke. And Pharaoh, I hope, will come do nothing. Okay. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> um, alright, cool. So I don't know, I don't know why he like walked up. Typically with Pharaoh, you come from behind so that you could trap them in the mummy walls. He didn't want to do that. That's okay, I guess. And now he's gonna come back and take my last hits, I'm sure. Yeah, okay, cool. That's cool, man. Don't worry about it. I I'm doing fine, so. <laughs> Draconis has a not great attack animation, so it's not super easy to beat him on last hits. Pharaoh has a fantastic attack animation, so I sort of have to pre-fire a bit, sort of like attack with the hopes that, you know, I'll get the last hit, even though it may kind of mess up the last hit in some instances, but if I don't, I'm not going to get any last hits here, which is very unfortunate that he's going to be like that. Um, the other thing I can do is... Oh, he didn't go for that one as easily as he could have, which is good for me. Um, the other thing I can do is sort of wait for my, uh, Cataclysm? No, Fiery Barrage. Cataclysm is my ultimate. Which is, oh, that's not interesting at all. Let's see if he can take out Pharaoh. I'm hoping he can take out Pharaoh at least. I don't have enough to take me. I don't know what he's doing. Um, yeah, so he got Pharaoh at least, which is fantastic, actually. He might, no, he's not gonna get her. He won't have the mana slash damage slash spells. I should say cooldowns, I guess, to take that dude out. So, uh. Um, ooh, I should have stopped the animation. I should have done that as well, but the fire got a for me, so that's nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to be going for a very, very quick uh, Thunderclaw. Um, or as quick as I can, I guess. It's not going to be that quick since I'm doing horrible uh, as far as last hitting goes in this lane. Um, because I have to compete with basically three people. Those two trying to deny and this guy trying to uh, take them, which is fine. It is what it is. Um, Okay, I guess. It's not great, but uh, ooh, I don't want to get uh, stun locked. I don't know where the other dude is. And as we've noticed, they can kill me. Uh, do I want to get vestments? I think I want to get vestments before I get the other thing. Uh, before I get my uh, Thunderclaw, which I believe I just need a warp club for, right? Yeah. Yeah, they changed it a while back. You used to need like a gloves of swiftness and then a warhammer or something like that. No, maybe it wasn't war. I think it might have been a warhammer, something like that. Now you don't. Now you just need the thunderclaw because you attack speed instead of. I think you gave a little bit of damage before, which is whatever. Um, I think it did. Don't quote me on that. I'm not gonna attack too much because I don't want to auto attack the wave up. Um, I do want to get the last hits. I just don't want to uh, specifically burn the wave up. Oh, that dude is totally fine with. Well, I guess we both ruined the last hit, so we'll call it even, huh? Um, I don't really want to do stuff like that and burn the whole wave. See, right there. See, so that's the kind of stuff that I'm referring to. I thought I was outside of the range last time, too. Um, he didn't land his stun, which is interesting. I don't have a lot of attack speed or damage. I have my cone, but that's about it. Um, let me see if I can burn this dude. Mm -hmm. Nah, it doesn't look like... Uh, I don't have the mana to, uh, but I think I'll have the, just the attack damage from the creeps. No, I won't. Did not have the attack damage from the creeps either to help me there. They both got really low. I don't know why he's dot dot dotting me. I'm not sure exactly what he wanted me to do there, uh, but that's fine. I don't really care. Um, I'm just gonna ignore him, so that's fine. Didn't quite have the mana to, uh, blazing flight to catch up to that dude. That was the plan, and the other dude, uh, if I had kept chasing, it's just as likely that their creeps would have killed me, so... Not exactly ideal either way. Um, I want to be a little careful here. I don't have a Q. I didn't see this guy coming up at all, but I think I should be okay because of his cooldowns. Maybe not. If he lands his ability. I don't know what the plan was there. 
Uh, it looked like he stopped his animation there that could have killed me too. It looks like he tried to attack me again and stopped it, which was very interesting because I was one auto attack away from death. So I don't know what just happened there. He just walked up and died, basically. Um, I'm not sure what his plan was. I thought he still had, he must have still had, I don't know, at least two or three seconds, maybe more than that on his cooldowns. So I'm not sure why he dived, he dove me, not dived, dove me. Uh, didn't really make any sense to me, but that's fine. I'm not going to complain. I'll take some free kills since I'm sort of creep starved at the moment. Take what you can get, you know? Um, a lot of the time you'll see people go, uh, null stone, which is why it says essential. Uh, because of the regen. It really helps you farm fantastically. I think I'm gonna get one this game only because of like Dampier ult, uh, mostly. It's pretty much entirely Dampier ult, but I still think I want the Thunderclaw first if I... Even if I... Do I think about it? I think I still want the Thunderclaw first, uh, no matter how I figure it out. No matter how I think about it and do some, some quick little calculations in my head or thoughts I guess uh, I think I still want that so we'll see um, I'm not gonna go like energizer or anything which is why I was sort of against buying these two items to build a soul screen ring at the beginning because it doesn't really make sense if you're not gonna complete the soul screen ring into something uh, I mean it's not a horrible item choice it just you know it's not the most logical uh, it's sort of a stranger choice. I want to be careful because they're gonna be looking to go on me although with Pharaoh here I don't think they should be able to they should I should be fine uh, their, uh, uh, Ra is missing still. I don't know where he is. Um, he's doing Ra things. Appreciate that, buddy. Appreciate that as well. You're doing a fantastic job here as Pharaoh. I really appreciate it. I don't know why he commented on how I played there in that fight when he's stolen every last hit from his carry. His hard carry in his lane. He picked Pharaoh and now is just stealing every last hit in the lane. It's like, really? You're gonna comment on how I play and you're doing that? Come on, man. I don't mind. If you're going to do that, then do that. But don't complain about how I'm playing if you're going to do that. I don't even think I was in his ultimate. Yet. Um, yeah, he's dead now. I'm not, I'm not sure entirely what the plan was there. I don't think I'll be able to kill her. I don't have the boots or... Oh, I should be fine. Even with the chase. I'm going to uh, Blazing Flight and get out. Hopefully get out. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, yeah, so there's that. I think I'll complete my boots before I get... Uh, before I go for um, the thingy, I think. It makes more sense, I think, to complete that because of how... Well, what do I need to complete it? 500 more? Yeah. To get... To, uh, is it more useful? The I think I think the stats are more useful than the attack speed at the moment. I'm going to stack this camp while I'm here. Sort of doing nothing. Uh, I think the stats are more useful, though. The more... I, I don't know. I, I think about it, and I don't think getting that earlier will help me farm fast enough to make up for the lack of stats. Um, but we'll see. Maybe it will. I don't really know. I'm sort of thinking. I just don't think it will. We're gonna chase, so that should be stacked. Pretty sure I hit that. Don't know where these guys are down here. Gonna call them missing. Um, just to let the team know. I don't know where they are. Um, I do want to upgrade my boots. I'm too low to walk. I'm not gonna walk up there, though. That would be suicide. Yeah, just stuff like that. That is what makes it suicide. He's probably looking to stun anyways. Um, damn it, the freaking thing. Yeah, I'm dead. There we go. TPs? TPs? No, no TPs? Yeah, I don't know. Um, raw diving. Anybody? Orange? You're right there? You want to ult somebody? No? I realize Ra is... He has an ultimate, but come on. Nothing? Okay. I still think he could have ulted onto them when they were in tower range and killed one, if not both of them. And, okay. Just walks past them. No problem, man. You're fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Why do people like this comment on how other people play? I don't understand. Oh, good ult. Good ult. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not really mean. I, I'm usually not mean. I don't really care. It's just like hilarious. I don't I don't understand. He comments on how I play and then he's like all over the place. Like and then he's gonna die to them. Is he really gonna die? He is gonna die to them. No problem. There's not a chance. He might get lodestone. Yeah. He got lodestone. I don't understand what the deal is with that kid. He's sort of weird. Um just making weird decisions all around. Which is fine, I guess. I don't know. I'm not playing great myself, but it's just like strange that he's I don't know why he didn't ult on them when they were in the tower. So ideally what you would want to do is ult. They were right next to each other. Ult and mummy them. I, I guess it's possible. I didn't pay attention. It's possible that he doesn't have he didn't have mana for them both. But I don't believe that really. Um, and I'm dead now. Um, that's an interesting ability. Pharaoh? Mummy walls? Anything? There you go. Okay. I got no trees to hide behind. They're going to try and dive me probably. I got zero trees to hide behind. Um, they've taken them all out. I do have my Q off cooldown, though. So if they dive, I could do a big chunk of damage before they die. Uh, before I die, rather. They will probably not die that quickly. 
Um, but I could do a big chunk of damage before I die. He's just gonna try and full on die me. So I did get a Q out. He mummy walled nothing. I, <laughs> I don't understand. Am I? I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be like crass and kind of a jerk. I know I, I'm usually like pretty calm. I just don't understand what he's doing for someone who commented on how I play. He just mummy walled nothing. He wasn't even close to somebody, so there's no chance that he even thought he was that close. Either. This kid's weird. Weird as hell. I don't quite get him. I wonder if he. I wonder if he knows he's playing like that, or if he thinks he's playing really good. I'm kind of curious. Uh, I'm just going to go over to the jungle and farm, because I'm not really doing anything in the lane. I just keep dying. I think I've died like two or three times in a row almost immediately. My GPM is suffering heavily. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the jungle and start farming. So basically, the way you want to farm the jungle is use your, primarily your E, um, but you can use your W too to kind of kite and just kill everybody, pretty much. Um, okay, somebody killed that camp down to just the leader, which is fine, I guess. Um, alright, well, I'll take the skeleton leader, I guess. Um, oh, stupid fire. I hate you. Do your job. Um, yeah, so, I'm gonna try and, I mean, I'm not gonna have an even remotely, uh, early, uh, Thunderclaw at this point, but we'll see. Um, I do want to own a TP as well, um, or maybe not a TP, but a, uh, at the very least, a... Those guys are still fighting down bot. Just just back off. Let them push. Who cares? We'll fight them if they go to the tower. We um, people kind of do that a lot where they get they get sort of stuck in a rut. I've seen a lot of carries do it where they're like, oh, okay. I'm going to use a little bit of mana. No, I'm fine. They're still they're still bottom. They're not coming, so I'm fine. Shush. Um, I've seen a lot of carries do that where they're like, they just keep going back to fights. And it's like, if you're not getting any farm, it's not a good idea to keep. If you're not killing things, if your team is losing, your team can be, you know, one thing to go to it, I guess, but don't keep doing it as an enemy, as a carry. You just don't. That's not the way it works. Um, I'm not gonna go diving him when there's three people here, bro. Um, the plan was for me and Pharaoh to do something. Well, Pharaoh was nowhere near you, uh, and he doesn't like ulting, I guess. Um, and I'm not going in on that with 500 HP, bro. Come on, what do you want from me? Um, I'm not doing that. I've died multiple times to them already, and I have no intention of continuing to die, uh, unnecessarily. I don't mind dying, I just don't want to die for nothing. So basically, you do stuff like this, where you blazing flight, and then you just run them around your fire, essentially. Um, is how it works. Let's see if I can aggro them back there. Yeah, there we go. Um, so that's how you sort of play. And obviously, your fiery barrage will just proc when it procs. That's cool, let it proc. Um, there's nothing wrong. Oops, I didn't want to click that. Oh, you can, like, click this and report people? Or mute them? Oh, cool. Um, I just know you can click the little hammer, uh, and it, it reports a player. Um, I feel really not safe here because of the lack of wording, but, uh, I can't... I'm willing to take a little bit of a risk. Even though they're all missing, I don't see them floating around our lanes and stuff, and we have somewhat of a ward, so... I'm willing to take the risk because I need gold and levels. Um, if I don't get any gold here, I'm going to be useless in all the team fights. Draconis doesn't really do much until you get some items, alas. Um, unfortunately, he's not much of a hero that is willing to and can do a lot of things um, on his own. So he ulted so they know where I am now, too, which is something you have to pay attention to. Flux ult reveals you. Even if you're not that close and it won't physically put you in danger, it does reveal you. I'm going to go B here. Um, I'm thinking I get the sustainer first because I need it to farm the jungle. Uh, these guys are crazy. I don't know why they're picking so many fights that are sort of risky. They're all super low to kill one person. One level eight at that. The lowest level in the game. They just sort of risked everything. Risked four people's lives for that. And, oh, I'm sorry. I, I stand corrected. They didn't risk four people's lives. They threw away four oh, people's lives for that. Now I'm waiting for it. I'm really waiting for the... Oh, there we go. That's not bad, actually. The two of them got... What was it? Three for four at the moment. I don't have any money to TP, so I'm not going to be TPing there if that's what you're paying me for. Um... That's interesting. Three for four isn't horrible, although, again, you don't really need to. So we have better late game. Um, I'm not sure why they're uh, uh, picking fights so heavily. Um, they can chill. We can totally, like, chill and uh, uh, just, you know, sit back and defend, be more defensive. They have much better early game between Ra and Draconis, and a lot of their team, actually, is really strong early game. Um, something I'm curious about, maybe somebody who plays Draconis can, uh, let me know in the comments, because I'm not 100% sure. I believe your Blazing Flight and your Fiery Barrage proc, like, they stack. I think if they're over top of each other, you'll take, you know, damage from both of them. Although, I'm not 100% certain. 
I would be interested if somebody could uh, clarify that for me. These guys suck because I believe this is magic damage. Yeah, magic damage. So these guys don't take any damage because they're little dill holes pretty much. Just gonna back off. Rock can't catch me once I blazing flight. He's level 12 though, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, you guys need to danger. Danger. Rock coming up behind you. I'll come help them out at the tower here. Oh. If they dive three people, it's sort of. T I mean, 5v3. It's still you know, especially since they're getting levels now. Oh, they don't have to dive because that's okay. You guys are willing to fight them out here pretty much, um, which is amazing actually. It's sort of weird. There you go. Perfect. There it is. Uh, oh, oh, we can get him. We can definitely take him. He should be done for. Oh, bad idea by what's his face. Um, very bad idea. I don't know why he came back in. So they just traded what four for one, five for one. Did all five of them? No, Dampier wasn't there, right? Yeah, I don't think Dampier was there. So um, four of them for one person. I will take that in uh, any day, pretty much. That's fantastic, actually. Uh, we got some ports. I should be able to get out of that. I'm, I probably didn't need to dragon fire there. That was. Or, or, Dragon fire, uh, uh, blazing flight there. That might have been a mistake, but that's fine, I guess. Cool. So I'm gonna buy the sustainer. Sustainer is also kind of nice because it just gives you like a, a little bump in damage, sort of excess, like extra stuff. Are you gonna take these, dude? Please don't. I would really. Okay. Thanks, man. <laughs> I don't quite understand how people make decisions in this game sometimes. I, I mean, it is what it is. I'm playing with 1500, so you know, I sort of take my own risks here. But uh, it just sort of doesn't make sense all the time to me. Some of the time they like decide to just. You know, like, some of it makes sense, I guess. Like, I guess he's level 14. Maybe he's thinking, I need the gold more. Which is an okay thing. If he ults, that would be interesting since he doesn't have a lot of backup here. It doesn't look like... We could have taken him, I think. Brown is down there. We could take him, yeah. I think we could. Um, let me go ahead and have uh, all of that brought over to me. I want to um, get out of here. We got... You know, this dude, I don't know what he's doing exactly. I mean, he's sort of farming our jungle, which is kind of weird. Maybe I'll buy some wards, too, because no one else is doing it. Um, and I might complete that soul screen ring just because, A, it'll take one item spot instead of two. And, B, it might be beneficial uh, to spend the extra, I think it's like 125 gold or something, to complete it for the bonus uh, stats that you get from completing the uh, thing. The thing. So it might be beneficial. I don't know. I'd, I'd have to think about it. I'm not sure if actually doing the math makes any sense in this scenario. I'll do it later, maybe I'll think about it later, I guess. I think I'm too vulnerable to go kill those two camps since they are heavily ganking our jungle. They're walking around there, like, all the time. So here's what I think I'll do. I'm gonna buy two wards. I'm gonna have those brought to me. I think I'm not going to, uh, complete the soul screen anymore, I think about it. Eh, maybe I will later. I don't know. But at the moment, I'm gonna have these wards brought to me. I feel very, very, very vulnerable going out there to, uh, plant them. Oh, plant the wards, place them, whatever you want to use. Uh, but, I'm gonna do it anyways to torture by wards. He did buy a ward, I like that. He bought two wards. What a nice guy. That's fantastic. They should be able to take that tower without my help, so, um, I'm just gonna come defend mid. Um, or attempt, uh, you know, help defend mid, I should say. They don't really need me. Uh, yeah, Kinesis probably doesn't really need me to help defend this, but, eh, for us. They took top tower, or did they already have that? No, they did take top tower. They took it. That's fine. It's not super, uh, weird. Warded, bot, ramp. Um, they just threw a ward down there for anybody. Uh, I'm, I didn't see it, but because Glaze just walked up the ramp and then turned around and walked back down, I think it's a safe uh, assumption that he placed a uh, ward somewhere in this vicinity. Um, I would say, in general, it's a safe assumption to do things, to make things like that. You don't always have to see it being placed or see things happening. You can make assumptions that are, you know, good assumptions. So, oh, I should have stacked this in my poopy. Oh. Well, whatever, I guess. Um, I'm getting up there in gold, which is really nice. Do they need me, or are they okay? I'm gonna come anyways. They may or may not need me, but I'm gonna show up. It looks like they might not, although Damp here sort of killing peeps, but uh, other than Damp here, it sort of looks like the rest of their team is not doing amazing. We're getting some ports here, which is weird. Uh, Flux is super dead. I don't know exactly what the deal is with that. It looked like he... Um, ooh, I'm super dead too. No, the... no that's okay. Trades? Trades look like they're favorable. Ross should be back up, yeah. They should be able to take him out of... No, maybe not. Tor Torture's out of mana. There they go. Okay. And Glacius is a free kill because he's Glacius. Perfect. Uh, so, as unfortunate as it is that I died, I would have liked to have been there, mostly for experience at this point. Uh, is just sort of carrying it. 10 and 2, not bad. Um, I would have liked to have been there for experience, but that's not entirely necessary. As long as we're getting the kills, I'm happy with that. I'm willing to trade 3 for 5, even if... I'm one of the three, and I'm the hard carry. Even if you're trading your hard carry for, you know, that's still okay. Um, I would go barbs, not staff. 
Um, especially since you don't seem to be using your ultimate that well anyway, so I don't know why you would get a sack. I mean, I'm not trying to be a jerk, I'm just being realistic. If you're not, yeah, I've seen, you guys have watched me see two, three, four different cases where he could have used his ultimate, but he didn't. So I, I wouldn't get a staff at all, but just my thoughts, I guess. Um, what do I need? Uh, 900 for that. Um, yeah, I guess the other thing, I tried to switch my boots to steam, or to strength, but I got stunned. Uh, I guess maybe I should have just gone into the fight with strength boots on and not worried about it. Unfortunately, positioning is sort of tough on Draconis because his attack range isn't crazy long. You sort of do have to get in the thick of it. Plus, where we were fighting right here, I don't want to be on the bottom here you're shooting up because then I'll be missing fight, like shots, and that's sort of counterproductive to an extent. It's it's sort of a weird situation you have to be in. Let me use Dragon Fire here. Oh, don't be like that. Come on, boys. Uh, Dragon Fire. I don't know why I keep calling it that. Uh, uh, blazing Flight. Dragon fire. Let me use my dragon fire, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ward people. our ancients. Um, we can put one aggressive ward, although I probably wouldn't put more than one. Um, any more than one, and it's sort of like, why are we doing that when we're not being that aggressive? Um, you chill for a second. Get that. Okay, missed that last hit. Missed that. Uh, I don't know what I was. I don't know how I missed that. To be honest, I thought I hit it. Um, so yeah. So let me place a ward here. Control R or Alt R. Yeah, somebody didn't lie to me. Whoever told me in the comments yeah. last time in the last video, I love you. Um, I love you. Thank you for informing me. We're coming. Who is this? Because I don't necessarily want to get caught up in such a weird spot here. Let's see. Oh, nice dodge. But you're still dead. I don't know exactly. Yeah, he dodged. I guess he saved his teammate there because we couldn't chase after uh, Ra. And I think we would have killed Ra if we didn't, uh, if he didn't dodge. If we, if I had, I didn't hit anybody. I was hoping to hit Glacius. I thought Glacius would be a more surefire kill. I wasn't sure if Ra popped his ulti yet. And with the Ra, who hasn't popped his ulti, it's really tough to kill him in the river because there are just so many locations where you can jump over the river or jump over the cliffs in the river. It's just sort of a gamble, uh, you know, to be honest with you, whether or not you're going to kill him necessarily. So, in that sense, I'd rather not have to gamble and just deal with it. Uh, so there, we got my Thunderclaw senting, being sent over. After the Thunderclaw, though, I'm not going to complete the Charged Hammer for a little bit. Before I do that, I would like to get at least an Assassin Shroud. Um, probably not a Genjuro. I usually, usually you complete Genjuro as the very last item. So usually Genjuro, you can you, you can get the Shroud early on because it's fantastic, but usually you don't complete the Genjuro until your very last item, unless you're doing extremely, extremely well, then you can do it, although it's still not even necessarily the best thing to do. I'm not going to bother stacking these only because I'm not sure how easily I can kill triple stack camps. Double stack probably, um, triple stack might be a bit more difficult. Um, he is going to assist me a little and then back off. Oh, no, maybe not. Yeah, he is. He, uh, he didn't steal him this time. He stole the last ones that I was doing. Oh, no, he didn't actually. He, he took, like, one, and then he helped me kill the other camp. He was, like, kiting it around. I stand corrected. Kinesis is not uh, a jerk like that. Um, I think I'll just save our last word at the moment. Uh, if you have... You don't want to overplace words for anybody who doesn't know. Three down at a time is good. If you start place, trying to place down four, I think if I recall, unless they changed it, uh, it'll eventually a backfire, and you'll be, you'll, you'll, won't be able to have enough wards down at once because of the way the cooldowns on wards work. Just a thought. I think it's possible I'm mistaken about that. Um, but I believe I am not. If I'm correct. But maybe I'm mistaken. Who knows? We got a pink here. Three pink kill? I don't know what he's doing. Are they doing comp? Oh, no, no. Our guy aggroed comp. Never mind. Cool. So I got experience for that, even though I didn't uh, get any assist or anything. That's fine. Cool. Works for me. This should be a free tower take. Especially with Ra uh, somewhere else. This should be an absolutely free tower take. Oh, and a free kill. No, he backed off. I don't know what that was all about. He PK'd in and then queued himself, which is fine because it makes you, you know, take 50% damage or whatever, but I don't understand what the point of that was because he was definitely going to move out of the way before he fell down, um, which is interesting. We can keep going. Keep going. Don't back off. We got 30 seconds, and if Ra's not defending, we should take this. Um, I imagine Ra will come back. It looks like he's gone on, on top lane already, so I imagine he is coming back. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, he just missed his ult for anybody who didn't see that. He shot up the hill trying to get him missed, um, which is, I'm missing a bunch. So anybody who didn't see those misses over my head, that's why I didn't want to fight at the bottom of the hill last time, because if you don't have a Savage Mace, if you're fighting uphill, um, you miss, I think it's like a 50% chance to miss or something like that. It's a big, like, percentage that you're gonna miss. Um, we could do, Con no, Kong would be tough at, at our current spot. I'm gonna throw a ward over there, on this cliff, over here. Um, I'll ward that so that we could Kong if we wanted, or we could push this bot lane easily. 
Um, or at least I'm going to, I'm planning on throwing a word there. We'll see, I guess, if they kind of block me off or something and I can't do it, then I can't do it, you know, but, uh, um, I would like to, I'm in tower range, but that's fine. It's worth it to place the word. They should have seen me place the word, though. Um, so if they were smart and wanted to kind of what they could now, they would know where it is. Um, rather than kill their ancients, I'd like to focus on getting the tower. I'm gonna switch my boots to strength just because, uh, oh no, I'm gonna keep them on edgy because of how far back they are. They're really, really far back, so I wasn't worried about getting PK'd on. Ra is taking top, so again, I'm willing to just take their racks if Ra is back there in top and doing his own thing. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh god, let me... Nice! Nice, nice, nice. I was able to push him back, although I'm not sure he would have killed me anyway since he used, like, his whole... his whole shebang. Uh, Ra is there, so he just kind of cost them that fight. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got sort of locked down, and then, you know, uh, thankfully it looked like Dampier didn't target me, he targeted somebody else. They didn't sing guys very well there, which is fine by me. Um, I'm very, very happy with Dampier not focusing me and focusing someone else, so that's cool. Uh, I think Dampier attacked someone else, though, which is why they didn't kill me, because, uh, uh, what's his face? Lodestone almost killed me himself, so if he had had a little bit of support there, I think he would have been able to take me out with relative ease. Um, I think he, he was the only one who really hurt me, though, um, although I think there's a way to check if you go through the... Isn't there like a combat log or something? I don't remember how to get to it, but I think you can open up the console too, although I'm not going to at the moment. But I believe you can open up the console to check the damage and stuff like that as well, if I'm not mistaken. So, that was interesting. I don't really get what just happened. He sort of didn't focus fire. I don't I don't know who, he went on like torture, didn't he? Or maybe Kinesis, uh, which is fine. Kinesis is doing better than me at the moment, so it's not like Kinesis is a bad choice. It's just, if you're gonna do that, you should coordinate with your team. I can just flat out buy my Assassin's Draft, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell the Pretenders Crown and have that brought over to me. Uh, I'm going to be using that to sort of do my initiate, uh, I won't take that from him. I'm gonna be sort of using that to do my initiation in fights. My initiation, not meaning the initiation. Um, different things, um, but like I am going to uh, be kind of chilling in the back, and then once they focus somebody, once they go on somebody, I will pop in with my assassin strap. Hence the uh, use of my initiation. So I'm going to pop in with my assassin strap and then start attacking. This would be after, ideally, although I may not do it every time just because of how far ahead we are. Oh, turn tonight. But ideally, it will be after Lodestone kind of jumps in, and probably after Dampier jumps in too. Although maybe not necessarily Rock, because I think even if, if just one person goes on me, I should be okay in general. I think, ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't want this to take too much damage. Um, just in general, I want to get it down low enough to deny, which I believe it is. Sweet. For anybody who didn't know, 125 is the, uh, or at least it used to be unless they changed it. 125 is the... Can I find I'm gonna go ahead and throw a ward up here. Maybe I'll throw it. Oh, I used my other ward. Sorry, I'm not throwing a ward anywhere. Did they counter that? It looks like they did counter ward it. Cool, so they're actually playing somewhat. Some At least their support is doing something. Um, ooh, god, this is. This should be an absolutely free kill. He obviously does not have wards at the river there. He's dead. Super dead. Oh god, he's dead. Um, yeah, he's gone. Like, absolutely gone. Wow. You didn't need to ult for it, though, Kinesis. I would have saved your ult, uh, because we could have killed him without it. But he was gone. Yeah, there was, that was not a good spot for him. Um, I'd like to have a ward up here. Is he going to place one? Nice. Perfect. Perfect. So when you're pushing, that's a really good ward to have. Um, because you can see all sorts of initiation tactics. You can see them trying to initiate from the side, trying to flank, and all kinds of stuff. Amazing. Same thing with the other side. If you're trying to push, that ward is really good. It's also really good for seeing uh, what is going on over there if you're trying to attempt Condor. Um, if you're attempting Condor, it's fantastic as well. So, all in all, it's a decent ward, but only in the right scenarios. It's, wards in general are very such Oh, God, this thing is just up the hill, so I'm missing it. I don't know the exact percentage of missed shots that, that happens, but I know it's, you know, something sort of significant. It's not like 2%. It's like a 30% chance or something. It's, it's, a, it's an actual number. It's like a tangible amount that you can actually notice happening. Uh, oh god, what is going on here? Don't be picking fights on my boys here. You can't be picking fights on my boys. So this is the kind of scenario that I'm looking at. Um, is stuff like this. I, I should have, I guess I shouldn't have altered there, although I, they backed off. Like, I ended up getting Glacius, but they backed off. So basically, as, as me, you want to be, as Draconis, you want to be right up in there when they, you know, you want to ult and be attacking, you know, five people at once. Um, I don't know exactly what that dude is doing. That's kind of crazy. Um, all things considered. Even all things not considered, that's sort of crazy. All these people are kind of crazy. Wow, these guys are like... Oh, get up the hill, so I'm not missing. Oh, God, Tower aggro. Why you hate me, Tower? Why you hate me? 
Why? Why do you hate me? Go away, tower. Um, I'm just gonna teleport home. And, oh, well, I'm not gonna tel teleport home, but it doesn't matter, so. Uh, yeah, cool, so. Oh, I got a level up as well. I don't mind getting carried by, uh, Kinesis, although I, I think I did my fair share as well, despite, uh, not having enough gold, but, um, but, I'm still happy with what happened. So let's see what we got here at the end. So I finished 8, 4, and 10. 111 CK, but that is, well, let's see the, uh, uh, let's see the, well, first off, what we do, uh, use the least consumables and score the most double taps. Okay, so sort of two useless ones, but that's fine. Um, so that amount of CK is lower than it should have been. Everybody in this game, with the exception of, uh, Benzington, which is sort of funny, uh, had low CK for where they would be. At 30 minutes, you'd want about 150. At 32 minutes, you know, 170, 160, something like that. Um, 160, I guess, is... Oh, no, no, probably 170, actually. Um, but, you know, even still, it doesn't matter. You know, so it's just not enough. But I was sort of fighting with with uh, Pharaoh, who ended up doing horrible in CK um, throughout the game. Now, he didn't do horrible as a player, although he made a significant number of mistakes that I saw. Although I'm sure I did, too. So, you know, uh, who am I to talk? But um, he's just sort of a weird play style. You know, the way he was doing was... I was playing like a 1500 is what he was doing, which is fine. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, so I was below CK, but I still ended up with a decent GPM, 380, almost 400 because of my kills and assists that were there. Um, so Kinesis did a pretty good job himself. Very good job, actually. Uh, I don't remember if he went mid or not. I think he did, but I don't recall. Um, either way, though, he did a good job. Benzington also might have gone mid. I don't really know, but he did a good job. Um, in general, the whole team did a pretty good job uh, overall, so I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, my build, I'm also pretty happy with. Uh, Overall, yeah, I'd say I'm, I'm fine with that. Maybe instead of shrunk, uh, instead of Shroud, maybe I should have gone Shrunk in there. But, you know, I'm fine with it either way. I, I wasn't dying that much. Um, I just need to be a little bit better with positioning. And you could use Shroud to, you know, position yourself a little better and kind of change where you are in a team fight. You know, if you get jumped on, Shroud out and move around, get to a different position and readjust, etc., etc. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there will probably be another video shortly, either the same day or uh, the next day or maybe one day after depending on how it works out but uh, thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys later all right um, I'm trying to get to those requests I am it's just you know I got a queue with whatever settings I can because you know 18,000 people online on a Sunday night it's not a lot of people you got to take the settings you can and just play the games you can but I'll be working on those requests all right thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys later GG well played guys Elphus out